Bahrain has been connected to the Internet since 1995, and made it readily available to its citizens. The country's domain suffix is bh. A 2004 study showed a liberal filtering system is used in Bahrain, one which can be easily bypassed, however more recent events have shown more sophisticated and pervasive filtering. In January 2009, Bahrain has started blocking a vastly increased number of sites through the Information Affairs Authority IAA. The new filtering has had a noticeable impact in Internet access speeds for all traffic. In 2010, there were about 694,000 Internet users in Bahrain, or 55% of the population. According to the World Bank, over 90% of the population is connected to the Internet between 2010 to 2014. This later rose to 96.4% an estimated 1.29 million online in 2015, thus making Bahrain the country with the highest Internet penetration percentage in the Middle East. Topic: Internet penetration and usage. The growth in fixed telephone lines and the internet has made Bahrain a regional information and communications technology leader. The country's connectivity score, a statistic which measures both internet access and fixed and mobile telephone lines, is 210.4% per person, while the regional average in Arab states of the Persian Gulf is 135.37%. The number of Bahraini Internet users has risen from 40,000 in 2000 to 250,000 in 2008, or from 5.95 to 33% of the population. The telecom market witnessed a remarkable development in November 2008 when MENA Telecom launched its nationwide WiMAX network, a service that provides high-speed wireless voice and data services, to encourage creativity in domestic online content. In 2005 Bahrain launched an e-content award organized by the e-government authority in Bahrain and the Bahrain Internet Society. The goal of the award is to select quality online content and to promote creativity and innovation in the development of new media applications in Bahrain. Bahrain's online community is small but dynamic. As of January 2008, there were over 535 websites based in Bahrain, focusing on 25 different themes, e.g., public forums, 59 websites for governmental organizations, and about 200 blogs, the majority of which are anonymous blogs. Internet users in Bahrain use the Internet to debate sensitive issues and to exchange content that is not available in the traditional media. The authorities have blocked a number of news, religion, human rights, and humor websites run by Bahrainis and by non Bahrainis, but users manage to access them using proxies. Bahrain's telecom market is regulated by the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, TRA, which was established by Legislative Decree No. 48 of 2002 to protect the interests of subscribers and users and to promote effective and fair competition among established and new licensed operators. As of 2008, the TRA has licensed 22 Internet service providers, the largest of which is Batelco. Topic Internet service providers in Bahrain ISP Batelco, regional telecommunications company specializing in a broad range of communications services including mobile, national and international telephony, business network services, internet and satellite services etc. Zane, regional telecommunications company specializing in a broad range of communications services including mobile, national and international telephony, business network services, internet and satellite services, in at email, email email service provided by Bahrain Telecommunications Company Viva, providers of mobile phone services in Bahrain, part of the Saudi Telecommunication Group, provides call, messaging, internet, roaming, BlackBerry services etc. Bahrain Internet Exchange BIX, body established by government decree to connect internet service providers, in order to increase local traffic and content, as well as reduce the cost of purchasing international bandwidth, Kalam Telecom, greater than Etisalcom, providers of fully integrated ICT solutions for consumers and businesses, offers ETISLIP telephony, more international calling cards, national and international connectivity, internet, hosting, comprehensive ICT solutions etc. MENA Telecom, telecommunications company based in Manama, services, carrier pre-select, two-way satellite, broadband applications, international prepaid calling cards, total communication solutions etc.
Mena Telecom is now being acquired by Viva Bahrain North Star Communications, providers of Internet, IP telephony services, prepaid and post paid international call services, Internet leased lines, ADSL services, GPS vehicle tracking, website development, etc. Nuetel Communications, alternative telecommunications provider that offers converged services including voice, Internet, and television over a single broadband connection. Head office is in Amwaj Islands. Strategic partners includes Cisco Systems and British Telecom, Rapid Telecom, provides dedicated, broadband internet, leased lines over fiber optics as well as microwave, national and international telephony and complete ICT solution services. Lightspeed Communications, Lightspeed Communications is Bahrain's first alternative fixed-line telecommunications operator, offering value-added and innovative services for residential and business customers. Services offered includes voice and internet. Head office is in Al Moayyad Tower in Sif. Strategic partners include Jordan Telecom. Lightspeed was bought over by Kalam Telecom. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Surveillance and filtering. The Ministry of Information has established a special unit which monitors websites for possible blocking. The government has indicated an interest in setting up a commission to monitor the press and Internet content to "...report any incitement to confessionalism." Government efforts to monitor websites have also been confirmed by media reports that cite an official source saying that in addition to websites being monitored on a daily basis, the use of circumvention techniques to update banned websites is also being watched. Telecommunication Regulatory Authority, Kingdom of Bahrain, Legislative Decree No. 48 of 2002 promulgating the telecommunications law, results from first 2008–2009 test runs found limited blocking of pornographic and LBGT content and proxy and anonymizing services However, after the January 2009 ministerial decree, which ordered ISPs to implement an official filtering system, ONI found that the filtering of content in officially prohibited categories has become pervasive, which is an indication that the ISPs have started to use a commercial filtering system. Also, the ISPs have started to serve an explicit block page with a reference to the ministerial decree. Mid-February 2011, start of the Bahraini uprising, internet traffic dropped by 20% due to aggressive government filtering. <laughs> Arrested bloggers On April 9, 2011, blogger Zakaria Rashid Hassan al-Ashiri died in prison after being tortured. He had been arrested for inciting hatred, disseminating false news, promoting sectarianism, and calling for the regime's overthrow in online forums. A number of persons have been arrested for posting online messages. Abbas al murshid Muhammad al maskati Ali Omid, Fadal al marzouk Hossein Abdujad Abdul Hossein al-Abbas. Jaffa Abdujad Abdul Hossein al-Abbas. Hamza Ahmed Youssef Al Dari, Ahmed Youssef Al Dari, Fathel Abdullah Ali Al Marzouk, Hani Muslim Muhammad Al Taif, Ali Hassan Salman Al Satrawi, Abdul Jalil Al Singhis, Ali Abdul Imam. Topic: <laughs> Social media in Bahrain. Social media has played a role in fueling the unrest in Bahrain with highly inflammatory information, according to a report by the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry (BICI). The commission stated that it was aware of the impact of the use of social media websites, such as Facebook and Twitter, has had on some major social and political events in the contemporary world. The Commission found numerous examples of exaggeration and misinformation, some highly inflammatory, that were disseminated through social media," the report stated. Another issue raised in the findings was that mainstream media in Bahrain ignored views of opposition groups. The lack of access to mainstream media creates frustration within opposition groups and results in these groups resorting to other media such as social media 
stated the report. This, it said, could have a destabilizing effect because social media outlets were both untraceable and unaccountable. The Commission recommended the Bahrain government to relax censorship and allow the opposition greater access to television and radio broadcasts as well as print media. Errors The BICI team also met officials from Information Affairs Authority IAA, who provided a file concerning the involvement of the international media in the events of February and March. The IAA alleged that there was incitement practiced by some foreign media against Bahrain. It also stated that the international media made factual errors when reporting on events. Much of this material contained derogatory language and inflammatory coverage of events, and some may have been defamatory," said the BICI. However, the Commission did not find any evidence of media coverage that constituted hate speech or incitement to violence. See also Telecommunications in Bahrain <laughs>